How y'all doing today? Um, I know this is a little bit different than normal. Um, I kind of been battling with this a little bit, you know, thinking, you know, I don't want to make anything about me ever. I don't want to ever make anything about me. But first, let's pray real quick. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything that you do for me, Father. Thank you for pulling me out of the darkness and the depths that you did, Father God. Thank you for getting me right, Father, and pulling me, putting me straight, Father God. I want to pray that the words that come out of my mouth, Father, that somebody will receive them in the right way. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You know, I've been battling this, um, you know, because I, I really felt like God's been putting it on my heart that He wants me to tell, you know, about my testimony a little bit and tell, you know, what happened to and what He worked me through. And, um, you know, I can barely, let alone, you know, handle anything anymore. I can't even tell the littlest lie on accident. Like if something costs... 20 cents more than, and I said it was 20 cents and it was 10 cents that bothers me, so I can't even tell the littlest lie anymore on accident without going to tell somebody, hey, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't ever want to make this about me, but I believe the Lord, you know, wanted me to come and talk about this and talk about um, what I've been through a little bit. And, um, I give a little testimony about what what's going on with me and what happened with me and you know I um, I did a lot of things I shouldn't have done I um, but I you know I, I always prayed and I always knew I was a man of God even from a kid I knew I was a man of God but you know I got lost in the world I got lost you know Satan Satan grabbed a hold of me and Satan really you know Satan really wanted to try to attack me and um you know, I'm, I'm not going to keep this too long today because I, it's, I don't want to make anything about me. It's always about Jesus because Jesus is the one that pulled me through everything. He molded me and took care of me and pulled me back in together from what I was lost in the world and doing. Nobody else really helped me. Everybody else gave up on me except for Jesus. And he pulled me through it. And um, I've got you know, tattoos and things to show that, you know, this isn't, this isn't, you know, you know, I'm not, I wish I didn't have these tattoos and I'm not saying that tattoos are a sin or anything like that, you know, but I do believe that, you know, I was always called to be a preacher and not somebody to have skull tattoos on their arms and things. And I do. And, um, you know, I believe he's really been wanting me to give a little short testimony, so I'm going to do it real quick. Um, you know, I've been into jail. I've done a lot of things wrong. You know, I've used a lot of different drugs. I've been in a lot of fights. Um, been shot, been stabbed. Um, a lot of things have happened, and the Lord's, the Lord was with me every step of the way. And he was the only one that cared. And he was the only one that really stood beside me the whole way. Everybody else, you know, they cared about me. I'm not saying my family didn't care about me, but they gave up on me a lot. And they let me go a lot. And instead of trying to pull me in like Jesus did and pull me in and really help me get back like he did. Like my Lord did. My Lord did that, you know. Because I trusted in him. And I even in jail, you know, I was preaching in jail. They called me the preacher man in jail. And, um, you know, I believe that, you know, I really, I really had to come through that. I really had to go through those things to really see what the, and, you know, you know, I, I really knew I was being called a ministry since I was a kid. But, you know, I just fought it. And I just was like, no, that's not true. I'm going to go do whatever I want to do, and then look what happened to me. I went to jail and different things. You know, I'm not saying that, you know, you can't be on your path and on your calling right now. You know, maybe a lot of you are, but for me, I wasn't. And, you know, maybe some of you all aren't. Maybe, that, maybe that's why God wants me to bring this testimony a little bit is because, you know, if things aren't really going your way, you're probably not following God's path. You're not following God's calling. And, um... You know, I want to I want to read something, a couple things out of the Bible, because you know, with Jesus you can do anything, and He's really only He's the only one that's He's always going to be watching you and taking care of you, and He's not going to give up on you. It doesn't matter what you do, 
he won't give up. He's going to be right there beside you, watching you, taking care of you, molding you back into the person you want to be. If you pray and you ask for him to help you, he will help you. He won't give up on you. And um, that's a fact. I'm living proof of it. And, um, you know, this was hard for me to do. I don't like, you know, showing my scars and things that have happened to me. I wish I would have been perfect. I wish I would have, like, just lived that perfect life and just excelled. But you know what? I got drugged down through the dirt, through the mud. But the only person, the only one that stood beside me the whole way was Jesus. Everybody else gave up on me. And people tell me now, they're like, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Well... I can tell you, you can think, you can thank the Lord, you can thank God, because that's the person who you, who I really, who, who really you can thank and who really you should be proud of, because he's the one that molded me back to the person and the man I'm supposed to be. And I want to read um, in Psalms, a couple things in Psalms, and then one in Joshua. I'm not making this too long, because I honestly, I don't like being here in my tank top and <laughs> showing you all you know, my scars and things like that. Okay, Psalms 9.10, it says, Those who know your name trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. You know, for the longest time, I seek, I, I knew, I knew him. I knew him. I just was lost, and the world had a hold of me, and drugs had a hold of me, and things, a lot of things had a hold of me. But, you know, these are warnings that you know, God warned us, and if we are spiritually ignorant, if we don't really know what is the truth about the world? It's easy to fall into it. Don't fall into it like I did. And then Psalms 13.5 says, But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. What's beautiful about that is his salvation, his love, always holds on to you tight. Always. When Jonah didn't listen, when Jonah went off and tried to do his own thing, God and, 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 and they, the, 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 they, the sailors threw Jonah off into the water. Jonah was swallowed by the whale, but you know what? That's salvation. That was God protecting Jonah in those bad seas without a boat. God protected him. God protected him with his salvation. God protected me with his salvation because I was a man of God. I wanted Jesus. And he brought me through it, and he showed me the way, and he was the one that brought me through everything. Nobody else but Jesus. And you know what? I, I believe, I know a lot of people that, like, they, they don't feel very, like, they don't feel very, I don't want to use that, I, I guess strong, or like, uh, the thing is, is God, if you are a man of God, if you're a woman of God, it says, Joshua 1, 9, it says, Have I not commanded you? Be courageous, be of strong courage, fear not, for I am always with you. Remember, the Lord is always with you. If you're down in the dumps and you're praying, He's molding you back. Just remember that. Strive to be like Him. Strive to do what you need to do. Just keep working on it. Keep trying your hardest to get to where you need to get. The Lord is molding you back, trust me. He doesn't give up on anybody. And I'm proven, I, I'm proof of that right now, that the Lord doesn't give up on anybody. I didn't want to make this too long today, I just wanted to give a couple scriptures and a little short testimony, so people, so y'all could know and people could understand how real and how good Jesus is. Thank y'all, I'm going to pray out real quick and then we're going to get off here. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Father God. Thank you for everything that you do for me, Lord. Thank you for... You know, these people that watch this. Thank you for these people that seek you, Lord. Thank you for everything that you do for me, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you all.